Hi guys, I'm Tilna from uh, Fobu Dragon to Australia. Today I'm going to install this uh, pump pressure into my uh, back of my drawers with using uh, this Dune uh, Fobu Dragon uh, pump pressure convention kit. So this is uh, just a normal of my, I think this um, is all around like 4 years now. I'm using it um, last 4 years, uh, you know, did the job really well. And I ordered eBay actually, uh, like I think 100 bucks, 120 bucks, still doing the job. And um, that's why I thought this is a, I think um, the convention is 80, bu 80 bucks. So I thought rather than going for a brand new compression, which because this is working really well at the moment. So that's why I thought uh, spend extra 80 bucks and uh, get a convention kit. Then uh, I can mount permanently uh, back of my drawers. And uh, yeah, it's coming with the pressure shoes. So when I'm not using it's automatic cut off there, compressor is not getting hot or warm, all these kind of things and stuff. And uh, yeah, so. Uh, let's do this one. I'll show you how to do that. And uh, I'm doing, uh, I'm getting a bit of extra stuff because I'm going to the rocker switch and all the stuff. So I have a bit of um, relays and all other stuff. So uh, extra from the what actually coming from the kit. So let's do this. Hi, today I'm using this heavy duty uh, compressor which is 220 psi, 300 litre uh, airflow, and 45 amp um, air compressor. And also, I got some um, uh, Anderson plug. To, for the wiring and uh, I got a, a fuse this is a 70 amp fuse I can use lower one too midi fuse uh, uh, holder I couldn't find an actual single one so this is a double one yep I can use it for another wiring when I next time and also I got this 80 amp um, relay with a relay holder so this is mainly I'm using for my uh, mm, switch so the water the power coming from the the main wire then um, i can actually put the switch here so which is i already mounted here you can see the compressor switch here so i'm going to use that switch for uh, power on and off for the this relay uh, through the this relay and uh, yeah that's why i'm using this one and also i have got a heavy duty uh, cable this is uh, this cable actually uh, rated to up to 100 uh, amp yeah because um, this is a heavy duty uh, compression and it's a 40 amp uh, compressor so that's why i'm doing a bit of a heavy duty wiring and um, you can go even up to the 50 amp um, uh, rate for the all the wiring and fuses and stuff but as i mentioned before i'm going to do a bit of a uh, heavy duty uh, over wiring for this one and of course um i got the dune uh, air compressor kit it's a brand new one and uh, this is how it looks like inside so pretty much um we have I'm pretty I'm not going to using any of this stuff I'm pretty much only using this uh, this part here so this is uh, your convention kit with the pressure switch and there's a, a air in and out and this is the power output for uh, the compressor so that's why I need another um, Anderson plug to plug here this is your output and this is the input for power so um, the power come through the relay for this uh, wire input here then after that, um, you know, when you flick on that switch, uh, it's actually switch on the uh, convention kit and then power go through that. And when it's overloaded, I think uh, this is rated, uh, this power cut off uh, from 100 uh, PSI, it's all the information here. So the cut off air pressure, 60 PSI start and 100 PSI cut off. It's the input voltage to a lamp and the maximum compression load is 80 amp. So this is actually 45, so this unit is a heavy duty one. And uh, yeah, this is, uh, I don't need the, it's going to come with a decent wire to 7.5 meter air, air hose and transfer air hose rail, everything is there. Uh, yeah, so let's do this one. I hope this will be work. And uh, yeah, as I mentioned before, like, you know, if I want to go for a, a new state of ours, new compressor is like around up to 400, 500 dollars. And um, this is, I already used this one. And he's doing a great job so that's why i thought uh, you know this is a bit of a budget version of to try uh, see if it's going to be work if it's going to work you know i'm keep using this compressor until it's died then after that i can um, send a bit of money for like a good compressor and uh, and how see um that's i thought to make this video because i couldn't find any video with this uh, dion convention kit and this review is not bad uh, in uh, anaconda website so that's why I thought give a crack with this one. So let's do this one. First, what I'm going to do is um, quickly run the, the wire for the, the switch and um, connect into the uh, my uh, relay uh, adapter. 
and um, this is uh, I checked the map this all the yellows pretty much like this is the main power in and this the red one is going to the your uh, convention kit and also this one the yellow the positive in from your switch and uh, this the your white one for your the negative and uh, so uh, I got some wire here and uh, so I'm going to run uh, uh, main wires for like probably one meter length one and I got some uh, trims uh, for the switch and uh, yeah so we'll start this power in and I'm using these uh, butt connectors it's actually a really good uh, made a good connection and um, you don't this is a bit of a lead here you got the your low torch you can make a nice connection and also I'm going to put a bit of um, like it's over protection and stuff and make a good uh, bond between the both wires so I have some um, uh, Heat shrink top, so I'm going to put the heat shrink top over this. Let's make a really good bond. I put the heat shrink over that, make it much stronger. And I'm using this marine sheet heat shrink, so there's no moisture going inside or in the water or anything. So this is really good heat shrink. So I got this. Um, but connectors and uh, first I'm going to do uh, pretty much I'm actually making a wire harness first so once you make the wire in harness it's pretty much easy so pretty much I can keep you know mounting the back of the my door system then after that run the wire to the battery then you know because it's a long wire so then I can cut when you reach to the battery then do the rest of the stuff from there so before that so whatever the connected to the convention kit I'm doing now and just build up it's like a normal wiring harness you buy for your you know, uh, uh, roof light or spotties or stuff like that. But this is pretty much we create the wiring harness. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to. So this is your this red wire. It's that's actually going to your connection kit. It's this one here. So red to red, and um, the butt connector. I don't have today any um, the red color um, face string, so I'm using black. And uh, then later on I put the red tape over that so do the same thing cut it hard you can if you want you can soldering too but this kind of heavy duty stuff I normally prefer to the nice butt connector and for strong connection and also if you want here you can put this uh, Anderson plug if you want to take it off or if you're not sure in future what you're going to do in. Oh, I know for this one I still keep it this connection and if I don't want I can cut it and put a Anderson plug later on but I'll go with the permanent solution now. So I'll see which one is going to be the plug middle one. It's really strong. You can, you can pull it. You can see it's really, you know, strongly connected now. No drama with that one. And this is your main power in with the fuse. You're going to connect to that. This is your negative, so I'm actually going to connect to the same butt plug here. So, with the main inlet, then it's easy to get the power from there. And um, yeah, we'll connect that from my wire stripper. this uh, your main uh, power inlet from your battery 
with the fuse and um, this yellow light is your the power in for the relay so I'm going to butt connect this one here but also I'm going to get the I got a blue color wire this is uh, where I'm going to take the power for the, the switch you can if you have any other you know if you mount in something like dashboard or anything like that you can get the power source from it this is really, this this one really in a really small amount of power just to you know flick the switch so I'm going to get the power from the same feed here uh, I'll get a one meter length of wire and then I can connect with this one so this is pretty much I put the two colors in easy to recognize I know this is your power in and this is your power out to the relay So put the stud here. It's good. And if you want, you can put some bit of a solder dot here. And but I don't worry because you need to keep this like a flexibility here. Because especially you know it's a four wheel drive, corrugation and stuff. If you Put too much sol uh, soldering or stuff like that, or even without this um, uh, butt connectors. If you just put a solder, that's why most of the time the, um, the joint might be uh, soldering joint might be can break because of the corrugation. But this is the best. Switch. This is your. You can. Um, as uh, you know, this is if you want actually, you can just directly um, uh, mount into a chassis mount. But in here, um, I don't have any extra the metal part, it's just a wood and the plastic cover there. So I'm not, uh, I don't have that option. So I'm going to actually connect this one to my uh, negative um, inlet. So pretty much, these two are going to be together with this one. You know, I might need a little bit of cord. put your heat shrink over that you don't have to and uh, because it's actually come up with the heat shrink um, and it's actually the, the actual this um, part plug is really good it's plastic you have a glow here the both sides it's make a good seal but still like you know I like to do a bit of a over uh, secure the wire a bit over so I put in the heat shrink so now we're going to connect Exactly the same process like we did before. Twist these two together again. Again, good secure connection. Here, shrink back. It's done. So pretty much we done the basic wiring harness. And uh, yeah, so just uh, need to now. The next thing is we need to do actually. Uh, secure the um, uh, mount this one but before that I actually put a bit of uh, tidy up this this area here so I'm thinking uh, probably uh, get a, a split tube for this one so run through the put the this one first here split tube 
throw this one again a little bit here. This one is pretty tube done. Just need to you know, figure out how do I go to do this one. That's done. Uh, so I think I'm going to secure these wires in like one conduit. This bit and this one going as a separate. I think I can put these two wires here. We'll see how it's going. Ah, uh, yeah, not bad. Make sure this wire stay inside the conduit. So I'm going to do it from here. actually connected to this one Don't worry about this wire a little bit more up 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 done so this one here put the thread button in I think I had to keep this gap and also here I actually keep all this together like that and get my um, insulation tape keep it together Some. That's it. so I've done that part this is going separately and put this wire it's a 3 meter Split tip uh, sh should be enough for the length. Another thing, you really don't have to do the split tip for this is really um, strong uh, casing around this wire, like a protection. Um, but it's your personal choice. And also this is inside the vehicle, it's not opening or outdoors or heat or anything. So you really don't have to. But again, I like a bit of extra protection always uh, when come to the 12 volt uh, system. So that's why I always you know, use extra protection, but it's not necessary. I'm not going to cut the wire until I do the fully thing. So this is a wiring harness I made. So this is your Dune connection kit and uh, wire go through from the relay. So if you get the, just this box, as I said before, you know, this is just a bear out and this is the extra part. I did make like a proper wiring harness and work with the normal switch. So you have a box, uh, your wiring harness, which I built for the relay, the relay here. And this is going for your battery. And uh, at the end you have put the fuse for that. And this is going for your rocker switch. Yeah, that's a pretty much wiring harness. We'll see how this is going to work. So I decided to um, check this one before I actually run it. See if my wiring is all good before it's good, you know. Make sure I know that uh, it's all ready to go. Otherwise, after I install it, something wrong with my wiring or anything, then you know, it's a bit of hassle to bring that one back. So I'm going to check now. Good thing is it's all working. So you can see stopping. Oh good. Let's try to install this one. So this is the angle I decide actually mount after you might be seen I was playing around a bit yeah I think this is the the right angle so temperature is coming here so holes is going there and all this wiring I can hide here 
So I think, yeah, this is the best location. Mount really solid now. So you can see it's hard to move even. I'm going to run the wires actually underneath these ones and then zip tight. I think that's the easiest way to run that side. And um, here is all probably all good, but I'll put a little bit good anyway for secure the wiring because you had to understand this is the back of a four wheel drive. And um, it's all the sort of moments and you know corrugation and it's with really bumpy roads and stuff. So you should have like a really mount your stuff really well. Yeah, I need to run this wire now to the other side. So I run through the wire here, all the wire come through here, here, behind my water tank, come across here to my battery box. This one I'm not taking power from my uh, 12 volt boxes, I have a, for like a 70 amp, so if you draw more than 70 amp total, it's going to cut off from here. Uh, but and you know, this pump actually uh, 45 amps minimum. So. Just have to directly get the battery, and also you have to keep in mind every time when I'm running because I have AGM battery, not lithium. Every time when I'm running this pump, um, I had to okay, start my vehicle. All right, so we're done up to here. Hi guys, uh, finally uh, I installed the uh, uh, compressor with the um, convection can. So this is the compressor here, and um, this is the the top hose actually coming from the compressor to go through the tune convention box here which is a mount here already and this is the output for the uh, outside uh, flash mount here for the output and it's come through here all the wiring switch is done so normally uh, when you flick it so it's fully loaded now I'll release the tap first so when you flick it, yeah it's on the charge now every time I use it. When I'm not using it, I can switch off and that's it. It's really the pressure if I want. So I'm happy with the total outcome, and um, yeah, and uh, so far so good. We'll see how's when it's uh, perform on track. Uh, yeah, if you guys have any question um, about this installation, please. Uh, put a comment down there um, then I can answer you know if I know anything I can help, help you as much as I can and uh, yeah um, the product is really good and um, I'll tell you like you know in a few months how it's worked so far so good as I said before and uh, yes I think it's really, really easy and if you have like a you know normal like um, eBay or the cheap basic compressor you can spend like extra 80 bucks and get this convention kit and you know and you don't have to spend 400 500 dollars for a compressor but as i said before this is i got this compressor a few years and um yeah this i'll see this is just like a pilot project and see how it's going to work if this work really well i'll keep continuing as it is if not i had to spend like you know decent money for better compressor but the good thing is all the wiring is done i can use that wiring later on yeah this is the output Thank you guys, thanks for watching. Please like, follow my channel, and uh, yep, and for more videos. Thank you.